We know that climate change already presents real risks for human health. The major risks are for the impacts of extreme events, heat waves, floods, droughts, hurricanes, those kinds of impacts. We know that those kinds of events are increasing around the world. And in terms of who's going to be most affected, it's the people who've contributed the least to climate change will be affected the most. Currently, 85% of the burden of climate change is in children. The face of climate change is a child, a child in Southeast Asia and Africa. They're the ones who are suffering from malnutrition, from malaria, from diarrheal disease. It's going to be more difficult to control those diseases in a change in climate, and those are the demographic that will continue to be affected. There's four major areas in which the health, the health system has to participate in climate change. One is better understanding of what climate change will do to exposure response relationships, a very clear research action. So next year, if the meeting is next year, to look at what research has been done to help fill some of the critical gaps. A second is the health system has done very little to seek for evidence that climate change has already affected health. There's more than a thousand publications in the ecosystem literature showing that climate change has affected ecosystems. So again, a research issue. A third is modeling. If you look at the other sectors, they all have large models of how climate change could affect those particular sectors and what different policies would mean for impacts on those sectors, an activity, again, that hasn't been undertaken. The fourth is adaptation mitigation, to step forward and try and prepare for the kinds of changes that are occurring now are likely to occur and help prevent larger impacts in the future.